Hey, Joystick News crew. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of the galaxy with the latest update for the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. This collection, brought to us by Esper, is a nostalgia-packed journey back to the early 2000s, but with a modern twist. So strap in as we explore the corners of the galaxy far, far away with update one that just dropped across all platforms. First off, let's get the basics out of the way. Released on March 14, the Classic Collection includes both Star Wars Battlefront Classic and Star Wars Battlefront 2 along with some juicy bonus content. Despite the initial excitement, the launch wasn't without its hiccups. Feedback and criticism were quick to follow, prompting Asper to release Update 1 for the Steam version on March 19 and now it's finally available for all you console players out there. What's the deal with Update 1, you ask? Well, it's all about squashing those pesky bugs that have been lurking around like unwanted droids. We're talking fixes to control schemes, visuals, the ever-popular hero assault mode, and some audio tweaks to make sure you're getting the most immersive experience possible. Remember that weird little white cube in front of some doors? Gone. Audio crashes. Zapped. And those hero characters, Kit Fisto and Asajj Ventress, are now behaving as they should in hero assault mode. But it's not just about fixes, Esper is also aiming to polish up the multiplayer experience. They've made some significant behind the scenes changes to dedicated servers and are promising even more improvements with update 2, which is on the horizon. Let's not forget the controversy though. There's been a bit of a stir about the classic collection using a fan-made mod for its bonus content. Reviews have been mixed, leaning towards mediocre, but Update 1 aims to address many concerns and improve the overall player experience. And from what we've seen, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Graphics have received a notable boost, with several bugs ironed out to enhance visual fidelity. Those pesky graphical issues in menus and gameplay have been addressed, making everything from the character menus to the multiplayer battles look crisp and clear. On the multiplayer front, the update fixes crashes related to client messages, issues with joining servers, and even the visibility of password-locked games in the quick match option. Control schemes have also seen a significant overhaul, fixing crashes related to split-screen menus and improving the user interface for a better gaming experience. Visual improvements are plenty. From fixing the overlapping L button prompt on the instant action menu to ensuring that AI units don't awkwardly slide out of view, Asper has put a lot of work into making the game look and feel better. Even the little details like the zoom in scope crosshair fitting widescreen displays and fixing texture issues on various maps have been meticulously addressed. Hero Assault Mode gets some love with rebalanced abilities for Asajj Ventress and a fix for Kit Fisto's lightsaber animation. And for the audio files out there, audio fixes include addressing crashes when audio devices are disconnected and ensuring blaster SFX for certain heroes play at the correct volume. Asper hasn't stopped at gameplay and visual fixes. They've gone all out to address issues across the board, from audio to hero assault, and even other notable bug fixes that improve the overall stability and quality of the game. So what's the verdict? The Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection Update 1 is a massive leap towards reviving these beloved classics for a new generation. While it might not fix every issue under the twin sons of Tatooine, it's clear that Asper is committed to improving and refining the player experience. And with Update 2 already on the horizon, it seems like this is just the beginning of the journey back to the battlefronts of the Star Wars universe. Remember, whether you're blasting droids on Genosis or taking down AT-ATS on Hoth, the galaxy needs heroes like you. So, gear up. Get out there and may the force be with you always. That's it for today's deep dive into the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection Update 1. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this galactic journey and subscribe to Joystick News for more gaming updates, reviews and news. Until next time, keep those joysticks moving.